Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So here we are on the technical five-year anniversary of Star Trek Fleet Command. Now, earlier, right before reset, <laughs> there was an announcement on the official Discord of Star Trek Fleet Command, and they mentioned all the fancy packs they're going to be offering for the five-year anniversary. I mean, of course. And also the list of epic officers you would have to choose from with your free gift. Well, I took a look at that list. It provided a link on the announcement. I went to that link. I went to the website. I looked at that list and I said, that list is pure dog shit. Well, luckily, the list that's Actually, in the game is not the same list that was listed in their little announcement. Why? I, I, I don't know. That, I mean, that, that's a damn good question. But luckily for them, this is not going to be, this is not going to be a video of me yelling about how much these people suck ass. Because there are some okay officers in there. So you're going to do your little claim. Wait, where is the claim? Let me go find the claim here. It's over here in the gift tabs. There you go. Right there. Five year anniversary claim. There should be enough tokens to then come over to the event store, click on this bucket, anniversary officers, and be able to choose one of these officers from the list. Now this may, this video may get kind of long, but I'll go through the list and tell you who I think has value and who doesn't. Mostly who doesn't have value. So let's get right to it. And I guess the theme of who I think isn't going to have value here, at least for these tokens, and that's really what it is. It's about value for these tokens. So if they're in transporter patterns, I say don't waste your anniversary tokens on an officer that's in transporter patterns. Because you're going to be able to get the, those officers. So, I guess it's traditionally like we do in an event store. You want to target things you can't normally get. So, William T. Riker, Hard, Haircourt, Fenton, Mud, Jordi LaForge, they're on transporter patterns. Don't waste your tokens on these guys. Jayla... I say grinding out swarms is no longer necessary, so therefore Jayla is no longer necessary. Christopher Pike, this is OG Pike, he's in transporter patterns, don't waste your time here. Now Burnham, Burnham's kind of a tricky one. She is a useful officer. She's not in transporter patterns. She does have an away team mission that will get you some shards, and she is available in a discovery recruit chest. For me, I don't think she has that much use, so I would recommend not wasting your tokens on Burnham, but she does have some value. It is, it's very low, in my opinion. James Kirk, he is he's in the original Federation recruit token and in transporter patterns. Don't waste your time. Charbonnet is also in transporter patterns. The five of eleven here. Why there's no order to this list? I wish there was a better order to this list, but just me, I guess. I know five of eleven is very important, officer. She's a very important officer. She's a very good officer. But I do think that she does have decent sourcing with the Bolos. I have her at tier 4. Actually, it'll tell you the shard count. So I'm at 668 of 1,000. That 1,000 is... It's a lot. For me, 
an extra 100 isn't going to do too much. It's just not. So I don't recommend using this. Using your tokens on 511, but... If you go to the go through your list of who you think could be beneficial to you and she's still at the top of the list, then by all means. But I do think that 5 of 11 has okay sourcing. It's not great, but it is okay. And we can call it sourcing. So not sure that that is where I would use my tokens. Crass, 4 of 11, Beckett, Mariner, all in transporter patterns. Don't bother. Data. Now, Data is a very hard to source officer. The only way is through the OAT missions. I do not have Data at high tier. And because of that, I really don't use them. I kind of wish I had them at higher tier, but I don't. So, Data is definitely on the list of... Officers, I think I see worthy of these tokens. Problem is, there isn't a whole lot of use for data. His captain ability gives you a little, a little bit of extra crit chance, which can be countered with Hugh. Or it can be... Hugh can be used in lieu of data, so... His officer ability is piercing stats. Piercing stats are nice, but certain hostiles have been given abilities to have high piercing, so or have high mitigation, so data won't do too much for you. There is value here, but you do kind of want to compare them to other officers on the list. Ridicy, 6 of 11, transporter patterns don't bother. Grush, now Grush can be fully unlocked and maxed through Syndicate. Yes, Syndicate is kind of a hard grind, but with the Mantis, really it's refinery, you can get a lot of Syndicate XP. So there is a path to Grush and... Not a whole lot of use for Grush. He's a very good stat officer. He does give got a, a good amount of warp range increase, but because there is a clear path to max, you will get enough shards through Syndicate XP. I say don't waste your tokens. Spock, he's in transporter patterns. Don't worry about him. 10 of 11. Honestly, just like Jayla, he does have nice sourcing from Bolo Refinery. Also, he is in a G4 rare Armada chest. So, and he actually does have an away team mission too. So, I think you can get enough shards elsewhere. So, I, don't, I say don't use your tokens here. Gorkon, Kang, Tendi, Troy, Sela, Giorgio. They're all in transporter patterns. Don't bother. Mitchell. Also in transporter patterns. Don't bother. 11 of 11. He's a nice officer. Captain ability increases crystal mining. Officer ability is something. I don't remember. I did say captain ability for crystal mining, right? Yeah. Make sure I didn't. Confuses too. So tearing him up really doesn't do you any good. It's like mining. No, it's warp speed. I think it's warp speed increase. Which is nice, but. Do you really want to spend your anniversary tokens on this? And also, he should be into bolos. So I say no. TOS Kirk, Marcus, they're in transporter patterns. Quark. Is Quark in transporter patterns? I know. Rom is. I don't remember about Quark, but Quark, you can get a few shards every Monday from Mining Monday. He's also in the Ultra Recruit pack. 
I say it's he's not really worth it. He's a very nice officer. He is only a mining officer. So you take that for what it's worth. You really want a mining officer. Though he is useful. 311 transporter pattern. Don't bother. Lorca. Lorca's a hard officer to source. He does have some sourcing. It's kind of low. If you have the fancy Discovery skin, you can get him through the Discovery Refinery or the Discovery Recruit tokens. And he is also like 10 of 11. He's also in the G4 Rare Armada chest. So not great sourcing. He does have sourcing. It's not great. So he is an option for you, especially if you use him or want to use him. Marcus, Khan, they're all in transporter patterns. Don't bother. Honor Guard Wharf. Honor Guard Wharf is a good officer in PvP. Now, with some of the researches from the X Borg, you can get more pools in your amalgam refinery and therefore get more shards of Wharf. Wharf is also in the Ultra Recruit token pack. So there is okay sourcing for Wharf, for Honor Guard Wharf here. With some of the strike team variants out there, is he still viable in PvP? Yeah, sure. Can be negated fairly well, with especially with Explorer Strike Team. So he's an option. I just, I'm not sure, especially with the increase of the tokens you can get from the Amalgam Refinery now with that research. I would kind of lean away from Wharf here because you can get him in another place. Discovery Mud. See, change his name to Discovery Mud. Nero, Rom. They're all in. Transporter patterns don't bother. <sighs> strike team lawn. Why does it say strike team strange new world lawn? That's very confusing. I assume this is a correct officer. See there it says strike team lawn, not strike team strange new world lawn. Very weird. Strike team lawn, Wayun, they are. Very good strike team captains. Actually, they're probably the only ones that are really worth using as captain in PvP if you're going to use a strike team. Something you would have to decide. How do you engage with PvP? If you engage in PvP with a battleship or an explorer, these two got to be on your list because there is no sourcing. A few events here and there. Otherwise, there's no sourcing for these two. So getting 100 shards here is a really good option. I will probably go with Wayun. Just because I I have him unlocked and that's basically it. Not. There hasn't been that many events to get Wayun. Few more for Strike Team Lon, but not for Wayun. John Luke Picard, he did get added to transporter patterns. Don't bother. Odo, Odo's nice. I'm not saying that Odo isn't a good officer, especially below deck. He will add crit damage. I just, I mean, that's not, it's not that much. But there's no sourcing because, like always, he came out in a month, in event store month, and whatever reason they don't like adding event store officers to whatever sourcing mechanic they had for other officers during that arc stretch i guess deep space nine came out and they gave sourcing for cisco miles o'brien and change Kira in the bajoran chess odo jadzia bashir Kira, actual, they didn't get at it because 
that's what they do. So Odo is an option. I don't think he's that good of an option because he doesn't have that much use. Pick Admiral Picard, which is a shit-ass name, and sorry to say, I think he's a shit-ass officer, especially with all the strike teams and the Carol Freeman teams out there. It's a shit. He's a shit officer in PvP. Don't bother. Borg Queen. Very niche use. She's only... Her officer ability, and she doesn't have a captain ability, which doesn't make sense. Officer ability only works in bolos. It's not that good either. It's really not. Because those battles don't last that long. You're not going to get hit as much as, let's say, some of the other armadas that last a while. She does have some use in PvP, but you do need another officer below deck. Is it Dezok or Goza? Whichever one activates Assimilate. That's the only way she'll work for you in PvP. She's below deck, and you have the other officer that activates Assimilate. So, I really wouldn't go with Boar Queen. She is also available in the Bolo chest. Gold Ducat, same reasons as Wayun and Strike Team Lon. This is your third Strike Team Captain for your Interceptors. He's on the list, so... If you're trying to decide between what strike team captain, and I think that's a very good use of your tokens here, you got to think about which type of ship you're going to get the most use out of. You can't just think about where you're at right now. You got to think about the next ship you're going to get and the, maybe the ship after that. You know, I mean, if the ship you currently have is an interceptor, the next ship you have may not be an interceptor, maybe something else. But then the one after that you want is an interceptor. Maybe you should go with Ducat because, again, you'll get more use out of them. You have an interceptor now, but you're going to get an explorer next ship and then a battleship the ship after that. You have less use for Ducat, let's say that. Doesn't mean that he's not worth your tokens. He's really worth it. He really is. <sighs> Strange New World Una. Not that good of an officer. Only adds a few impulse. I would say. Mm, don't bother. Barclays and transporter patterns. Don't bother. Cisco is available in the Armada chest in the bar, uh, Bajaran store. I got a max. I thought it was relatively easy to max, that is me, but there's a really good path to maxing Cisco, so I would say don't waste your tokens here. Pick Riker, Trash Officer in PvP. Hemmer is available in the Mantis Refinery, all the way at the end of that list. You have a whole bunch of Strange New World Officers there. Good sourcing for them. I don't think he's worth your tokens here. Pick Wharf. Trash officer in PvP. Don't bother. Jadzia Dax. I mean, this is a tough one because I really like Jadzia's abilities. I just have a hard time finding a ship for her. Theoretically, if I could use four ships in solo armadas, probably use her as captain. Captain ability is very nice. It's uh, piercing, all your piercing, your shield piercing, armor piercing, accuracy, 700% of officer health. That's a lot of piercing. And it's a captain ability, so you can get synergy on this. That's a lot of piercing you can do. Now, it is only for one ship, but still a lot of piercing. But the problem I have is you got to have Cisco on one of the ships. Chakotay... And his team is very good. I say you got to put five on one of the ships somewhere. And she is a really good officer. And then there's, you know, the TNG crew. Picard and Beverly is a good combination. Especially if you like you want to use Lorca. I think that can really help you get hull breach on there. 
or maybe even dated Picard Beverly. It's a good crew. I just... <coughs> Excuse me. I just... I really do have a hard time finding a spot for Jadzia. I, I, I just do. I mean, she's got to be captain because his captain ability is great. I just... Where? And... The downside is it does only work on solo armadas. <sighs> really, it just it just it's only good against the Jem'Hadar solo armadas because the Borgs, the Bolos, they have very high mitigation, very very high mitigation. Therefore, you need lots and lots and lots of piercing to counter that. I don't know that you really get enough from Jadzia here. You might, but. Again, only useful in solos, which, I mean, it sucks. Because you're severely limited on how many ships you can take in there. She is good, but she is almost too niche to, to choose here with these tokens. And here you go, end of the list. Straight into World Pike. Same applies as Hammer. Here's good sourcing for him, so I wouldn't waste your tokens here. There's a lot of officers here, but uh, there's a, not that many good options compared to how many officers are actually here. I mean, what did I say? Ducat is one. I think Odo can be one, but I think he is further down on the list than, let's say, a Ducat, Oweyun, or Strike Team Juan. But Odo's definitely on the list, but I think the Strike Team captains are further up. Under Guard Wharf, maybe, but I think he's around Odo. Lorca is too, but I think... <sighs> to me, he just has... He has more sourcing than the strike team captains. So I think you have to go to, with a strike team captain. Just... A five is great, but I think she does have some, some okay sourcing. And honestly, with Burnham, if you do, if you have played for a while, you can get enough trade XP, put the right traits on the certain officers, and I can't even remember which officer it is, but you could source Burnham fairly well. So I think it's between, I really think it's between the strike team captains. Because they just have the worst sourcing out of all the officers here. Except for maybe Odo, and that's why I think Odo is also on the list. So, I mean, that is that is my recommendation to you. Finally, getting to the end here, summarizing. <sighs> Try not to make this video too long. There are a lot of great officers on this list. There really are. But you really have to think about... One, where you are at with these officers and what tier you currently have them at. And look to the future and your level up and your progression. See which of these officers you can easily get unlocked and then tier up. Yeah, I get that if you're in the low 30s, you're looking at Cisco and you think, oh, Cisco is a great officer, which he is, but... As you progress and you get that Bajoran loop unlocked, you're going to have a great path to Cisco. So I just, I wouldn't use these anniversary tokens on somebody that has a good path. Your strike team captains, they don't have a path at all. You compare that to an officer like Honor Guard Worth, who has a path. It's not a great path. But Honor Guard Wharf does have a path for you to get many shards. Wayun, Strike Team Line, Gold Ducat, there's none. There's no path. So in my honest opinion, you got to go with one of the Strike Team Captains and try to figure out which one you are going to get the most use out of. I would go with that one. Now, at the same time, if you have two of them unlocked and you don't have the other one unlocked and you really want that other one, 
it's a good option because I think at certain points in this game, you're going to have either an explorer, an interceptor, or a battleship. You're not going to... It's not like you're going to have no use for it. I mean, think about the Borg Cube. Eventually, you're going to get that thing up high enough. That's a battleship. Maybe you're targeting with some of your other faction credits. You're targeting an Interceptor or an Explorer. So, for me, tell you my, who I'm going to pick. I'm going to take Wave because I see a path to all the other officers. I don't see a path to these. Some of the officers I use more, and there's no path. I'm going to go with Wei Yun. Comment below. Who are you leaning towards? This only comes around once a year, so you kind of want to make it count. You are getting a free epic unlock. As far as some of these other officers that are very good and may have a small niche use or let's call it a shitty path to unlock or tear up. Which one is your favorite and you really want to spend the tokens on even though you may think it may not be the smartest decision as far as gameplay. There's a lot of officers on here that I really like. I think Odo is probably my favorite but I do see <sighs> A very niche use with him. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.